Have you ever logged into your CRM, become instantly overwhelmed, not knowing where to start, and ended up moving on to do something else instead? If that sounds familiar, trust me, you're not alone. In this video, I'm going to show you the most important areas to focus on when organizing your database. That will set the foundation for setting up the simple systems that many of the most productive agents and teams in the country use to help remove the guesswork of finding who to follow up with next. Okay, let's dig in. Stages are the main groups your contacts belong in. They should describe where that particular person is in the client journey. The main stages to consider are lead, who are people who have shown interest but you haven't connected with to know what their timelines are, hot prospect, who are ready to do a deal in the next 90 days, active clients, past clients, and sphere. If you need to, in Follow Up Boss, you can also create custom stages to organize your contacts in the way that best works for you. What matters most is that you keep it simple and have a clear understanding of what each stage means for your business. Too many stages can get overwhelming and often makes it harder to decide who belongs where. To update your stages, you can head over to an individual profile or use the Mass Actions tab to change the stage of multiple people at once. You can also keep them up to date on the go using the mobile app. And if you're importing a list, you can choose one of the columns in your file for the stage of your contacts or select the stage of all contacts in the file at the end of your import. Next, let's talk tags. Tags in Follow Up Boss can add that extra bit of detailed information that'll help you further narrow your search. Tag your top referrers, people who visited your open house, or tag people with their target zip code or neighborhood. You can even turn on auto tagging and your new leads will be automatically tagged with the zip code and the city they inquired about. If your leads are tagged with this information, when a new property comes to market or you have an open house coming up, you can find all your contacts looking in that area so you can easily reach out with a text or a call or even email the entire group at once. The other area you'll want to track for your contacts are important dates like birthdays, anniversaries, and closings. For this, the answer is custom fields. Once you add those dates to a contact, we'll automatically add those dates to your calendar and follow-up box so you never miss an important outreach opportunity. Once you start tracking important dates, be sure to make those birthday calls, set up our BombBomb -bomb integration to send a video message right from Follow Up Boss, or even print a mailing label right from Follow Up Boss to send them a card or a letter. Custom fields are also flexible enough to handle all kinds of other info you like to track for your contacts. But try to keep this simple as well and focus almost exclusively on adding fields for things that will help you group your contacts by a common thread. The value of your database comes from following up, investing some time now in getting organized, and practicing good CRM hygiene by keeping your contacts up to date is one of the highest return investments you'll ever make in your business.